Perhaps the best example of what we're talking about here is Srebrenica. Srebrenica, a village in Bosnia, was declared a UN safe zone for Bosniaks seeking refuge, but was never really demilitarized, which allowed Bosniak forces to attack neighboring Serb villages. Serb commander Ratko Mladic overran Srebrenica, with thousands of Muslims killed and ethnically cleansed. What happened in Srebrenica was a stage-managed fall of the enclave to uh, the Serbian forces, which never expected to conquer it. The United Nations declared that this was genocide, even though UN observer Philip Corwin estimated that the number of killed Muslims in Srebrenica was no larger than the number of Serbs killed in villages around Srebrenica. But that didn't matter. Srebrenica was to be used for a much greater agenda. Uh, there are trustworthy witnesses on the Muslim side uh, who claimed that Ali Izetbegovic told them that uh, Bill Clinton had indicated to him, Izetbegovic, that 5,000 dead Muslims would be the price of NATO intervention on the Bosnian Muslim side. They believed that Srebrenica was deliberately sacrificed by Izetbegovic in order to provide this burnt offering to the White House that would be the justification for intervention. And indeed, the proof of the pudding is in eating. The Bosnia government had no choice. Mr. Solajic, speaking for his government, said, We have no choice, and our presidency had no choice but to appeal for a military intervention in Bosnia and Herzegovina. You cannot go this alone. The American public will not tolerate it. The alliance cannot stand it. And intervention ensued.